All right, man. So it's it's time to share. It's time to share. Okay. So, hmm. I want to know what fragrance, what fragrance, really made you start collecting. Like most people who are watching this video right now, are a collector, or you have a collection. All right. You might not be wild about it, like probably me, <laughs> but uh, you do have a collection. What was the fragrance? Where? What about it? What made you? What made you want to continue to uh, search for more and more to create that feeling again of what that fragrance gave you? So I would like to know what it is down in the comments. What fragrance? Which one was it that got you to say, you know what? I'm a collector now. <laughs> I'm a collector now. Let me know down below in the comments what fragrance got you to start collecting. YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deirdre Elder Jr. And I'm indeed back with yet another fragrance video. Okay, so today we're doing a video on a line. I've never done a, uh, a fragrance line video before, but this video has been requested a couple of times, but by most recently by my guy, Rude Days, all right? Uh, Rude Days is one of the Smell Good family members. And um, I think it was sometime last week, he was like, hey, D-Man, do you have any more of those fragrances from Banana Republic? Can we get a video? And I said, sure. I've acquired a, a good bit of them, and I've also given away a good bit of them too. But today we have an odd number. We have a nine. I have a nine from the Icon line from Banana Republic. I'm going to go through each one of them, spend a few seconds talking about them, and let you know which ones are my favorite favorites, which one are... Uh, pricing where you can find them and um you know these are some fragrances that i believe are a big time bang for your buck all right so smell good family hope everything is well hope everything is good fantastic hope anything that you got going on in your life i hope it is going super great all right positive energy positive vibes y'all know what we on for sure all right so let's go ahead and jump into let's go ahead and jump into some that um are cool to me and uh, I'll get into my favorites to close out the video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this one. Up first from the Banana Republic Icon line, we have Pure White 90. Pure White 90. Now, believe it or not, this was my first ever purchase from the line. And it just gives that clean, um, powdery, fresh a little bit citrusy it's just a clean fragrance this is great for the warmer weather you can douse yourself with this stuff i mean powdery notes ozonic notes you got some citrus in here a um, little bit of floral I think there's a neroli note in here but this is just a clean scent it's easy it's inoffensive it's great for the office it's great for lounging around it's great for running errands it's great when you just don't want to think about something Think about a fragrance you just want to put something on and it does smell nice all right so i got this one like most of these i got from my local burlington yeah probably two of these i got from my local marshalls but the red all of these most of these i got from my burlington i got this for 19.99 when i got it listen if you're looking up this fragrance right now on fragrance net or something like that and they're they're charging 80 bucks for this do not pay 80 dollars for any of these fragrances stay on the hunt in your Burlington's, in your Marshalls, in your Rosses, and um, your TJ Maxx's, and you'll come up on these eventually. But this is fresh, it is clean, and it is inoffensive, and it is good for the warmer months, for the office, and like just really chilling out, man. This is a real good one. I wear it to the gym as well. This has a lot of different things that it's good for, but it's just clean and it's fresh, all right? I'm not sure if it's mimicking anything or, or copying anything like some of these are, but not to my nose, I'm not really sure. All right, so from the House of Banana Republic, I do like this one. This is called Pure White 90. My first purchase, as a matter of fact. All right, all right. moving along to Black Platinum, all right? Black Platinum. 
Mm, smells good. Man, yeah, this is real good. All right, Black Platinum. All right, Black Pat, Black Pat Platinum 06. Now this one, this is one of my last from the uh, line, and this one has a woody, leathery, slightly green, slightly like a, a, a vetiver presence as well. I'm not gonna say it smells like Terre d'Hermes, but it's in the vein of a Terre d'Hermes style of a fragrance, and I really do enjoy it. This is really good for the fall. Um, I did wear this. I got this. This one, the let's see, this is one of the last purchases. So I did wear this a lot in the evenings when I was, you know, moving around. I had to go pick something up. I'm just chilling, lounging around the house after a shower. This is one that that's how I really tested this one. Um, but it can be much more. These are all at a perform concentrations, all of them. All right. Now, do they perform beastly? No, uh, pure white 90 in this one. And most of these, except two of them, they perform around that five to six hour mark. All right. You could just reapply. All right. You could get all these for $20 or less. Just reapply. They do smell good. This one right here. I do like this is more has more of a masculine approach. All right, but um, in the name Black Platinum, I think it's suited. Actually, I think it's a cool name. Um, and the reason I keep smelling it because I hadn't worn it in a couple of months and I'll probably be wearing this <laughs> after I take a shower tonight. But um, this stuff is good. I definitely rec recommend it, especially if you're looking for something a little bit masculine uh, from this line. So from the Icon line uh, from Banana Republic, we have Black Platinum 06, 06. All right, next up we have Leather Reserve 83 from the Icon line, Leather Reserve 83. This one is along the lines of it, and this is a, it does have a more of a leathery feel. Um, leathery, citrusy, um, yeah, like, like a bitter orange and a pink pepper has a fresh spicy take to it as well. This is another one that is on the masculine side of things, and you could do a lot with this one too. Great for the office. Um, great for just uh, lounging around, running errands. These, this is a versatile fragrance, just like the last two, really, for different types of situations. Another twenty-dollar grab from a local Burlington, and, and 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 I've worn this a couple of times. And Black Platinum kind of got me away from uh, Leather Reserve, but it is good. Gives you a masculine feel. I wore these around the fall time, like during the day when it was around you know, 60 degrees, maybe in the uh, high 50s with a nice little breeze out. This was something that was very complimentary when I was just moving out and about taking care of business. So Leather Reserve has a masculine feel as well. The leather in here is not crazy. It's not offensive. It's not gonna, you know, make somebody, oh my God, you're not gonna get that. It's very, very complimentary. Balanced well, another five to six hours with this one. Really good stuff. From the House of Banana Republic, the Icon Line, we have Leather Reserve, 83. 83. All right, moving along to this one, which I really do like. It's perfect for the spring. It's perfect for the summer, and I really do enjoy it. It has a Terre d'Hermes feel, like down to the bone of Terre d'Hermes. So if you like Terre d'Hermes and you see Cypress Cedar from Banana Republic, you're going to love it. Go ahead and grab it. So in the summertime, I wear Terre d'Hermes a lot. Um, springtime too, but mostly in the summertime because of that vetiver, that bitter orange, that fresh spiciness. Um, and that's what you get in this one. It is very, very apparent and very, very clear what Banana Republic was going for, Cypress Cedar, Terre d'Hermes. That's it. I really like it. I enjoy it. I got this one towards the end of summer last year, but I will be ramping up my wares um, coming up with the spring and the summer. So this stuff is good. From the Banana, ban the banana Republic's Icon line, we got Cypress Cedar. Really enjoy this stuff, all right? All right, moving along uh, to something a little bit different. Cardam Gardenia and Cardamom, all right? From the Icon line, you can see the different color in the bottle there. This is much more floral, floral and citrus and a little ambery sweetness in this thing, but really heavy on the florals my wife loved this one and for me i only wear this during the spring that's it i'm not huge on florals but this something about this one is really good so if you're into florals look into this one for sure um it's perfect during the spring let's say if you're going to a daytime wedding 
or in afternoon or, or early evening with it in the spring, it'll be perfect. Let's say you're out and about, you might be riding bikes, you might be in the park. If you're gonna be outdoors, this is perfect for the outdoors, especially during the spring. Florals, a little bit of a citrus, uh, a little powdery uh, taste going towards the dry down. And um, I like it. Uh, the cardamom in here is minimum, but it does give a little fresh spiciness to it as well. $20, another five to six hours of performance, just like all the rest, but this stuff is good. My wife loved this so much, she had to have her own bottle, all right? So my wife has her own bottle of Gardena Cardamom. This is the most unisex, well, no, no, no. We have two more, but this is a super unisex angle from the Icon line of Banana Republic. We have Gardena and Cardamom. Great stuff here, great stuff, all right? All right, moving along to my top four. These are the four that I love the most in no particular order, but these are the four that I've gravitated towards the most from the House of Banana Republic. Once again, from the Icon line, we have Metal Rain, Metal Rain. All right, so Metal Rain is their take on Creed's Silver Mountain Water, all right? But with the twist. With this, you get the violet leaf in here. You get that slightly metallic and inky vibe in here as well. You get a, a, a black current uh, type of vibe, but then they have the note of amber, which kind of sweetens up the DNA, all right? So does it smell 100% like Silver Mountain Water? No, but when you do smell it, and if you haven't smelled, if you, and if you have smelled Silver Mountain Water, it's gonna register. It's gonna go off in your brain that this I this reminds me of something, and that's what I got from this. So with this one, I wear it to the gym, running errands, just like I do with all of these. I do the same thing with all of them. I wear it to the office. Um, during the spring, during the summertime, I really get a lot of wears out of this fragrance, man. This stuff is really good. It's really, really good, and it's a unique twist to the Silver Mount Water DNA. 20 bucks from a local Burlington, five to six hours, no problem reapplying. This stuff is good. Banana Republic is from the Icon line, Metal Rain. It has that kind of dark or mid gray, light gray type of bottle style, dope stuff, all right? All right, so to the top three, no doubt about it. Up first from the Icon line, we have Dark Cherry and Amber. Dark Cherry and Amber. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Baccarat Rouge's, 540, but I really do like this one. The, the the cherry in here is a dark cherry. The amber in here is a sweet amber. It's a praline. It's a very sweet fragrance that gives off Baccarat 540 vibes, all right? But the difference is the dark cherry, and that's what I like about it. I probably never owned Baccarat Rouge 540. Might not even have a clone of it, but this is the closest I will ever get, the closest I'll get, and I'm fine with that. This stuff is really, really, really good. I love to wear it during the fall. I love to wear it during the winter, especially like if me and my wife are like chilling, chilling, cause she likes this. I'll take me a shower, or if we're gonna watch us a movie, or if we're gonna go, you know, out real quick somewhere. This is something that I would put on um, that kind of fits the vibe and fits the mood. I really like this stuff. Now with this one, I get about six to seven hours of good performance out of it. And the next time I see it, I will be getting a backup bottle for sure, all right? Backup bottle worthy just to have in my collection for sure. From the House of Banana Republic, from the Icon line once again, we have Dark Cherry and Amber. All right, two more left on the list. Number two on my list, these two left, the two that are left, I have backup bottles for, yes. From the House of Banana Republic, the Icon line, once again, we have Tobacco and Tonka Bean. Tobacco and Tonka Bean. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. It tells you exactly what it is. You get sweet tobacco, you get Tonka Bean, you get a, 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 a just a very, I ain't gonna say gourmandish, but very delectable style of a fragrance, and it is perfect. It is unisex, just like Dark Cherry Amber and uh, Gardenia and Cardamom, it's very, very unisex. This stuff is really, really good. <laughs> it's just really, really good. I love it. Some women have smelled it. They say it might be a little bit too masculine for them. Um, and some people say it's right on spot. Some women say it's right on spot. But for me, it's perfect for the fall. It's perfect for the winter. Another six to seven hour performer for me. I really like this stuff. Backup bottle on deck. I don't know if I'll ever use this because all of these are, I think they're 60 mLs. Let me see, I think they're all 60, seven, sorry, 75 mLs. All bottles are 2.5, 75 mLs. Tobacco and Tonka Bean is really good. 
And last but not least, my number one from this line, I've talked about it on this channel a lot. We have Banana Republics from the Icon line, Vintage Green 78. Man, you got T, you got a T note in here, you got some citrus in here, you got some neroli in here, uh, floral citrus, I mean, it's just beautiful. I don't know what this is going after, if it smells like anything, but and I really don't care. This stuff is a one. I like it a lot. I wear it a lot. I can't wait till it gets warm so I can overspray it and just go crazy with it. I just, I, 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 I love it. <laughs> I love it and I have a backup bottle on deck as soon as it goes out. Another five to six hour, five to six hour performer. You reapply, great for any occasion, during the spring, during the summer. It just hits, man, and I really like it a lot. Vintage 78 from the Banana Republic from the Icon line. All right. Starting to lose light out here, man. Like it's about to storm out there. So, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. But shout out to Rude Days. All right. Shout out to Rude Days for reminding me to put this video out. Let me know down below in the comments what Banana Republic do you have? All right. What's your favorites? Which ones have you loved, not loved? Do you think the line is poo-poo? Do you like think the line is great? I think it's a great bang for your buck line. Don't pay $80 for these fragrances. Do not pay $20 in your local rack stores and you'll be happy with your purchase, all right? So until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. The video's running a little long, but oh well, all right? We'll see you guys on the next video. Splack it up, splack it down. Splack it that thing all around. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. On the road to 5K. We almost there, all right? Appreciate it.